E-scooters are seen as a convenient and affordable way of getting around by many. But just as with other road users, they must obey the rules. It's the minority, not the majority, that are disobeying the, the Road Traffic Act and the laws. Um, some of them are constantly flouting red traffic lights, they're going against the flow of the traffic, they're not wearing protective helmets, and they're actually going faster than actually some motor vehicles on the road. So regulation has had to be brought in to obviously to control that. And the police have been carrying out an awareness campaign to highlight the new offences. Tell me about that. So what people don't actually realise is that this law has actually been in play now for just over two weeks. So because it's quite a massive shift in law, we've given them almost a, a two-week sort of leeway where we've educated rather than prosecute. So I'd say my officers over the course of two weeks, predominantly at the frontier, because that's where the majority then come across uh, across frontier workers, we've educated them by giving them leaflets, both in Spanish and English. I think we've possibly given almost a 1,000 leaflets over the last two weeks. And what's the response been like? It's been very good. As I said, it's the minority that unfortunately flouted. And looking at the majority that come in across, they are actually helmeted, they've got the lights on, um, and they're being responsible with everything. Um, but it now allows them that when obviously we go to give them a TFP and the, the, the fixed penalty notice, they will understand that it's what's been required and they would have the legislation given to them. And what do you think um, is the most important thing for e-scooter users to be aware of? The laws of the road, um, they have to ad adhere to every law that we have to. They have to obey by the traffic lights, they have to obey speed limits now, they are regulated by speed, no drinking driving, no drug driving. So. What people have to realise is that uh, the plets have actually been a, a good thing for Gibraltar. They've taken an awful lot of uh, road usage from cross-frontier users over, so our parking has increased and the amount of roads or traffic on our roads have actually decreased. But the problem is that they're unregulated and they've been flouting a lot of the laws. A £300 fine is no small change. Hopefully the new regulations will make our roads safer for all. Oh yeah, and don't forget to indicate.